I test appliances for a living, here are my top 5 air fryer tips, looking to buy an air fryer? Before you do, check out our Homes Rider's top air fryer tips and what you need to know, as a Homes Rider, I've tried and tested all kinds of small appliances over the years. From juicers and stand mixers to vacuum cleaners, I've reviewed my fair share, but my favorite appliance, so far, has got to be the air fryer. Air fryers have become the must-have appliance in recent years, known for rustling up crispy, delicious foods in no time. Not only can air fryers cook crunchy foods quickly using little or no oil, but they are also known to be slightly cheaper to run than a standard oven, saving you money on bills. After owning my small one for almost two years, I've learned all sorts of pros and cons when cooking with an air fryer. And while they are incredibly versatile in preparing tasty recipes, there are also nine things you should never put in an air fryer to avoid a culinary disaster. So, before you rush out to buy one of the best air fryers for your home, here are my top air fryer tips to get the most out of it. Although it's tempting to throw everything in at once, don't overcrowd the basket. Always distribute foods evenly in the base to allow the heat to evenly cook the foods. If your basket is overcrowded, this could block the hot air from circulating around the food properly, resulting in undercooked or overcooked foods. What's more, if you fill it too much, the top of your food could end up pressing against the heating element, which can cause a potential fire hazard. Choose an air fryer with a suitable capacity for your needs, or purchase an air fryer with two baskets that will allow you to cook multiple things at once. Air fryers like this Ninja DZ201 Footy 8 Quart 6 in 1 Dual Zone 2 Basket Air Fryer, $159, Amazon, opens a new tab, are more suitable for big families. Another thing I've learned is that air fryers heat up very quickly and retain their hot temperature longer. Since this often speeds up the cooking process, it can also result in overcooked foods, even at the recommended cooking time on packaging. If you want to avoid dried out overcooked foods, take note of timings and adjust your recipe temperatures where necessary. In addition, try not to leave high heat foods inside the fryer for too long, as this will essentially cook your food even more if left for a long period. Similarly, if you forget to preheat most air fryers, this may result in undercooked foods. In any case, each air fryer model slash brand varies, so be sure to read the manual and stick to what air fryer recipes they have suggested. Air fryers offer a low-fat alternative to deep or shallow frying and need little to no oil. In fact, one mistake I made when I first bought mine was to use too much oil, which ended up with oily and inedible results. It's worth noting that most deep-fried recipes need up to 3 cups, 750 milliliters, of oil, air-fried foods would only need about 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters, in comparison. I would recommend using a spray bottle like this oil sprayer for cooking, $12, Amazon, opens a new tab, making it easier to lightly spray the oil, without oversaturating foods. And while there is much debate about whether air fryers are actually healthy, these handy appliances are certainly a healthier alternative to deep frying. Another useful tip to remember is to always check your food. Most recipes in an air fryer will need turning halfway through the cooking process to ensure foods are evenly cooked and crispy all over. The good thing about air fryers is that you can open the basket during the process without worrying about losing heat. This is because an air fryer is essentially a mini convection oven and will heat itself continuously. When turning over or removing foods, always use a suitable utensil or heat-proof tongs like these two-pack black kitchen tongs, $7, Amazon, opens a new tab, as the basket gets very hot. Compared to traditional frying, air fryers are a lot easier to clean than a grease-laden pan. Plus, who wants the task of disposing of cooking oil each time? However, it's always a good idea to clean your air fryer thoroughly after each use. This is down to the fact that any oil residue or crumbs that fall through to the bottom of the basket can burn with continuous use. Not only will this affect the overall performance of the appliance, but might create smoke in your kitchen. To prevent this from happening, check out how to clean an air fryer for best results. 
If you're new to the world of air frying, check out how to use an air fryer and avoid these common air fryer mistakes. More importantly, read about how to stop your air fryer from overheating since it could be a potential fire hazard, and here's why our home's editor would buy an air fryer over a toaster oven any day.